Like, I think this is absolutely insane. So the boss of Bruins, this Twitter page, just full out exposes Jake DeBrasco's per, uh, per coach Montgomery. Jake DeBrasco was late to a team meeting and will not play tonight in LA. That is crazy. Uh, I honestly, I think people are going to get ahead of this and just start making the trade rumors up. And, and I mean, Hey, myself too. I think I'll talk about the trade rumors, but like, as I'm seeing memes like this, it's like once upon a time, Tyler Sagan did the exact same thing. Uh, obviously he was a second overall pick. DeBrusque was never that I would say highly thought of, but I mean, still, still, I think. The fact that he's now a lot older and, I mean, people do consider him a veteran in the room with a lot of guys, like, leaving the team. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I, I think the guy could get moved. And I, I've talked about – I actually was fooling around earlier on Cat Friendly and just, like, an Oilers trade. I don't know how you guys feel about this. This is this is my proposal. I'll own this one. I don't think this is too far off. I think the Oilers would probably have to throw in a pick just because DeBrusque's had productive years in the past. But the Oilers have had such a rough start – I feel like a trade like this could benefit both sides. Like, I think Warren Fogle would be a good middle six guy for Boston. Boston gets a second round pick out of it. I could see something like this. I mean, it, Edmonton would be pretty nasty. Uh, I mean, they're pretty obviously crazier in the top nine as it is. But I'm just saying, like, cap wise, it makes sense. I think DeBrusque would make a lot of sense out west. I've talked about either him going to, like, one of the Alberta teams or Vancouver. Or just finding a change of scenery, maybe even like in California, like just going out west. I, I could see DeBrus doing that either now in a trade or in free agency, but um, I think it's interesting. I think there's a lot of DeBrus stuff out there right now. But like for your for your team <laughs> to come out, like this is not some small thing. This is like you were late, you need to face some major accountability. And everyone's gonna know about it. And obviously this tweet is getting major attention. I've already seen a a lot of TikToks about it, like 650,000 views on Twitter. Uh, like, look at the inner, like the engagement, the likes. A lot of people are on this. So, to me, it's kind of crazy. Like, it's not, it's not a small thing. Like, I think with the Sagan one, I, I, I'd have to look back, but I don't think the team was publicly saying it in terms of like their PR pages. I think the coach exposed Sagan saying he was late, but like to put it, like on Twitter where all the casual fans will even see it. Cause like in a, in a presser for Montgomery, like if he just goes, yeah, Jake was late for practice. He is not going to play for tonight's game. Obviously all the diehards are going to be on top of that. And the reporters are going to be on top of that. But for the team, like how many followers of the Bruins have like, they, my, yeah, I was going to say a mil. So 1.6 mil like crazy, man. So it's going to be interesting. But that is the tweet that is getting all the attention for the Boston Bruins. And I and honestly think if Jake DeBrusque, I think he's gone pointless so far to start the season. I think if this chaos starts, like I, I think they're going to find a trade. I, I think, especially if there's any struggles for the Bruins at some point this season, I feel like it's just time for DeBrusque to move on. He's only got one year left on his $4 million contract. I think it's time to move on from Jake DeBrusque. So if he doesn't get traded, he'll move on in free agency. But I think if the Bruins can get assets or get a roster player that can help them right now back and like a one for one, maybe a draft pick thrown in. I think that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, the DeBrusque drama continues in Boston.